Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we start a series of videos where I'll be talking about the exams you need to sit if you're thinking about applying to medical school. These are the UCAT and the BMAT. Most students will sit both of the exams or just the UCAT. However, if you're thinking about applying to Oxford or Cambridge, these two universities require you to sit the BMAT. There are other universities in the UK that ask you to sit the BMAT and I'll put a full list in the description below. If you're new to this channel, my name's Brian. I'm a newly qualified junior doctor in London. I've studied medicine at the University of Cambridge and at Imperial College London. I'm also the founder and the president of Into Med School. We're an organization that provides free support and mentorship for children all over the UK hoping to apply to medical school. If you want more information, I'll include it in the description below. This video is for anyone very early on in thinking about applying to medical school. This one's an overview of the BMAT and what you need to know before you start revising for the exam. Okay, firstly, what is the BMAT? The BMAT is a two hour exam testing your scientific knowledge and your ability to apply your knowledge to multiple choice questions. The BMAT is made out of three sections. I'll be going through each section in a lot more detail in my future videos. This video is just to give you a really quick overview. Section one the BMAT tests your problem solving skills, your ability to analyze data and to understand arguments. It will consist of 32 questions in which you're expected to answer them in under 60 minutes. Section two of the BMAT then tests your scientific knowledge. You'll be asked to complete 27 multiple choice questions and you'll have 30 minutes to do it. The level of knowledge that you're expected to know will be that of someone who's done GCSE, sciences and maths. Section three of the BMAT is in the essay writing component. In this section, they're testing your ability to formulate and develop your ideas and to effectively communicate them in writing. You'll be given three possible questions and you'll be asked to pick one of them and write an essay about it. You'll get up to 30 minutes to write this. As you can see, the BMAT is testing a broad range of skills. As this test doesn't allow you to use a calculator, some people who are worried about their mental maths might be worried about the maths component. Other people who are really scientifically minded might worry about the essay component. The good thing about the BMAT is that all the past papers and official practice papers are available online. I've included a link to all of them below. With enough practice and with the tips that I'll be going through in this series of videos, you should feel well prepared. Okay, so I've kept this video short just to give you an overview of the BMAT. In my future videos, I'll be going through each section in plenty more detail, as well as giving you my top tips. If you're interested in these videos, then please subscribe. If you've got any questions at all or any comments, put them in the comment section below. Finally, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.